Reinhardt, the original main tank. Standing at 7 foot 4, he is the tallest character in Overwatch, making him the perfect fit for the tank role. He has 300 health and 200 armor, making him the sturdiest of all the tanks. Reinhardt's most important feature is his shield that stands with 2000 health and blocks up to 2000 damage. This, however, excludes melee attacks and beam weapons such as Winston's Tesla Cannon. While Reinhardt's shield is deployed, he moves at about half speed, making for slow and steady pushes. The shield does have a regeneration aspect that when lowered for over 2 seconds, its health will be restored by 195 health per second, but this does leave you and your team vulnerable for attack. If your shield is to break, you have to wait a full 5 seconds to deploy it while it is regenerating. Reinhardt's only ranged ability, the Fire Strike. Reinhardt casts a ball of fire that deals 100 damage to every target it hits, and yes, that does mean piercing damage. This is great for tight corridors and narrow hallways to get a lot of burst damage in, and build charge for your ultimate. Fire Strike can be casted every 6 seconds, so make sure you use it when you can. Also good to note that it passes through Zarya barriers, while giving her charge, it will hurt enemies behind her. It can also be absorbed by Diva's Defense Matrix and reflected by Genji's Deflect ability, so be cautious for those. Reinhardt's Charge Ability. This is either the save the game and make a great play ability, or the ability that causes you to lose the game because you're now too far out of position. Charge gives Reinhardt extreme mobility for 55 meters or until he hits a wall. However, if an enemy is in your way, you will take them with you and when you hit a wall, you'll be dealing 300 damage to them, which is enough to kill every support and damage dealer in the game. Even only hitting them as you pass by will still do 50 damage. But in doing so, this can put you and your team at a severe disadvantage because you won't have your shield up, and if you miss your target, it might be a while before you return to the fight. This ability can also be cancelled by a lot of abilities, which will stop you dead in your tracks, such as Roadhog Hook and McCree Stun. Reinhardt's Standard Attack, Rocket Hammer. Swinging at about 1 swing per 0.9 seconds for 75 damage per hit and with a range of 5 meters, this is Reinhardt's main form of attack. The hammer itself does have a knockback effect, but unlike traditional knockback where it does just that, Reinhardt's hammer will move the enemy either left or right depending on the direction the hammer was moving. Along with that, there are a lot of mind games you can play with other Reinhardts due to the swinging animation cancels you can do, but we'll be getting into that a little bit later. Reinhardt's ultimate ability, Earth Shatter. This is the ability that can separate a good Reinhardt from a bad Reinhardt. The goal of this ability is to outsmart the other Reinhardt to give yourself the opportunity for a good Earth Shatter. This is an area of an effect ability that stretches for 20 meters in front of Reinhardt and 2 meters into the air, stunning all enemies in that range for a whopping 2.5 seconds. This is one of the hardest ultimates in the game to be effective with because any objects, such as lampposts or walls, shields, or Zarya barriers that get in the way will completely negate this, as well as being stunned during its cast time of only 0.6 seconds. However, if successfully landed, this ultimate can easily lead to team kills and one fights. So here's a situation my friend and I set up to show how to animation cancel to lead into an Earth Shatter. So both Ryans have Shatter, and right now we're just holding shields and hypothetically letting our teams do damage. Um, I keep putting my shield up and down to try and get him to Shatter, so I'll block it. And see right there, I go to swing, I don't swing, I put my shield up as he shatters and block the Shatter for my entire team. Another situation, after a lost team fight, but you're still alive behind enemy lines, I call this the Flank Shatter. You come behind, and you get a free Shatter. Along with that, I'll be going into a little bit more detail on how to do that combo you just saw. So about that combo, what you do is you swing to hit as many targets as you can, fire strike to hit as many targets as you can, and then whoever has the most amount of health, you charge into a wall, and you do significant amount of damage and can confirm a lot more kills this way. Here's an example of a charge not connecting like I mentioned earlier. You did 50 damage, and you apply knockback, which pushes the enemy away, and you can use that to knock them off of ledges. Alright, so enough about the fancy stuff. Here's what you actually have to use Reinhardt for. Protecting your team. You see Soldier 76 on the high ground? You're using your shield to protect your team from that Soldier 76. So here's a much more realistic way on how to play Reinhardt. You see your team behind you, Soldier is ulting up front, nice. and you're here to protect your team.
and that is the basics of how to play Reinhardt. Obviously, there is a lot more to learn, but there is only so much I can show. A lot of his little quirks are discovered in the game and cannot really be taught as easily as being learned through gameplay. Arissa, standing at only 1 inch shorter than Reinhardt at 7 feet 3 inches, she is the cutest and most robotic of the main tanks. Built by Effie Odelay to counter Doomfist and to fight crime for all of Effie's city. Shortly after her release, she received some changes to make her stronger, including increase to shield size and reduction in shield cooldown. These changes have put her above Reinhardt as of the current meta, but I expect things to be changing soon. Let's start with Arissa's primary fire, her fusion driver. This is a linear projectile that deals 11 damage per second and shoots 12 rounds per second. With full ammo, she can shoot 150 bullets before having to reload, which is great for spamming choke points and finishing off low health enemies that try to get away. Her fusion driver also has a nice 132 damage per second if every bullet hits. That also doesn't include headshots, which only make her damage per second better. Arissa's most useful ability, well at least for her team, the protective barrier. This is a projectile barrier, meaning that she can shoot her shield forward. That's right, her shield isn't attached to her like it is to Reinhardt. However, her shield only has 900 health, meaning it can only block 900 damage. Unlike Reinhardt, however, the shield can be redeployed after 8 seconds and at full health. If the shield is not broken, it will last for 20 seconds before it disappears. Also, unlike Reinhardt, the shield is not a flat surface. It is shaped like a soccer net, curving inwards towards your team. This allows for protection around corners, which can be beneficial for your team. Arissa's strongest self-defense ability, Fortify. Fortify gives her this golden appearance as well as a 50% damage resistance. This also stacks with her armor, giving her a huge damage resistance to pellet weapons such as Reaper shotguns, Tracer guns, and Roadhog shotguns. But things that do high burst damage such as McCree revolver, Widow sniper rifle, and junk rack grenades don't do too much less damage than they normally would. On top of all that, she's completely immune to all crowd control effects. So basically anything that stops or stuns your heroes such as a Junkrat Trap, McCree Flashbang, Roadhog Hook, and many other abilities and ultimates. Arissa's Halt. This is more commonly referred to as Pull because of the way this ability actually acts. It is an orb that is shot out and when activated again or hits a wall, it will stop where it is and will pull anyone within a 7.5 meter radius close to the center of the orb. This ability is most useful in situations where an enemy needs to be taken down from high ground or an enemy can be pulled off of a ledge. This ability will also grab multiple enemies at once, given that they are in range. Arissa's ultimate ability, Supercharger. This ability is also commonly referred to as Bongo because of its shape and sound it makes when placed. The Supercharger is a 200 health object that when placed it gives all allies that are within line of sight and within a 25 meter radius a 50% damage increase. This ultimate lasts for 15 seconds or until it is destroyed. The ability is most useful in situations where you have an ultimate to combo with it, such as Soldier 76 Tactical Visor or Genji's Dragon Blade. The other way to use this ultimate is to help build the ultimates of your team and force the enemy to either retreat or push into a massive amount of damage from all of your team members. In this situation, you will see that there is a Soldier 76 near a ledge. I use my halt ability to pull him off and get an easy confirmed kill. In this situation, there is a soldier on high ground. I use my halt ability to pull him off and then walk through my shield and use my fortify to quickly confirm the kill. Winston, a former test subject on the Horizon Luna Colony who was genetically altered to be a genius. As smart as he is, he is still the weakest of the main tanks, at least as far as his health goes. He is not what most people picture when they hear the word tanky. More or less, he is just a big fuzzy blob of 400 health with 100 armor, nothing special. But what makes him stand out so much more is his incredible mobility and his way to apply pressure to any enemy no matter where they may be. Also, did I mention he's a gorilla? Winston's only steady source of damage is his Tesla Cannon. His Tesla Cannon has a range of 8 meters doing only 60 damage per second. However, he can target up to 3 enemies at a time, meaning he can be doing 60 damage per second to 3 different targets at once. This is very useful when committing to killing an enemy, because even when someone pulls back to help them, you can target that enemy as well, making yourself doubly as effective. 
The only downside to Winston is that when there is an enemy Mercy present, his job of eliminating enemies with his Tesla cannon becomes much more difficult because if Mercy heals the target Winston is after, nothing gets done because of Mercy's 60 healing per second, the same as Winston's damage. Now that you are aware of Mercy's healing rate, please target the Mercy first. Winston's Jump Pack, his main form of vertical and a far horizontal movement. His ability is crucial to Winston's kit to allow him to close the gap between him and his target or to escape from a fight that is too much. Besides the extreme movement he gets from using this ability, his landing can also do up to 45 damage when landing near an enemy, with falloff damage included. However, you can only use his Jump Pack every 6 seconds so you need to use it with care. Either use it to get in and be sure your team is there to back you up, or use it for when things are getting rough and jump out to the safety of your team. Winston's Barrier Projector Unlike Arissa and Reinhardt's shields, Winston's shield is a full sphere that can cover his team entirely. However, this is the weakest of the three shields with only 600 health and it will disappear after 5 seconds if not destroyed. But he does get this shield back every 13 seconds. His shield can also be placed in the air which can make it harder to get hit as you use your jump pack to close in on an enemy. Winston's ultimate ability, his Primal Rage. He turns into a big angry gorilla and gains 500 max health, giving him a total of 900 health and 100 armor. He does not use his Tesla Cannon while in Primal Rage, and he converts into full melee. He does 40 damage per punch, and applies a heavy knockback effect onto the enemies that he hits. The best use of his ultimate is to either push a low HP hero into a corner and pummel them until they die, use it to knock enemies off of ledges to plummet to their deaths, or use it to try and stall for time on an objective to buy your team time to group up and retake a fight. But make sure you use it carefully because its ultimate only lasts for 10 seconds and it can take a while to build up. Right here, I demonstrate the damage you do with just jumping. It's only about a bar and a half of HP. What I show here is jumping with the punch doing an animation cancel which allows you to follow up with more Tesla cannon damage to burst down an enemy much faster than normal. And all you have to do in order to do that animation cancel is right before you hit the ground with your jump pack, press your melee button and you'll cancel the animation but still do the damage. Since your enemies can walk through your shield, they can't shoot through it, but you can walk through and shoot through it, this puts you on an extreme advantage. In any 1v1 situation, you want to weave in and out of your shield to minimize the damage you take from the enemy. So here you'll see I go into a small room and I get ambushed by a soldier. I get to low HP, so I decide to ult, and because we're in this small room, I could just kind of push him all around and do a ton of damage to him and quickly kill him. Here you'll see a situation where in a 1v1, there's no close walls, but there is a ledge. You can use your ult to just push someone off and quickly confirm a kill and then move on to someone else. That's all of the basics for how to play each individual main tank. They all have rather different play styles, and the only way to see which one fits you best is to play them.